Welcome back, everybody. Tis the season to make some holiday goodies. And Karen Doster is here from the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Good morning. Good to see good, you. Good to see you, too. Happy holidays. I know it. I can't believe it. It's I know all it. right here. I know it. Uh, Karen is here with two delicious treat recipes. I'm real excited about one of the recipes. It's a no-bake. Um, so right. that one's coming up in a little That's bit. No-bake cookie. But um, tell us about what we're doing right now. Well, actually, um, this month, this year, for, for the holiday season, we're featuring four brand new cookie recipes using, of course, Wisconsin butter. And butter is best, oh, yeah. you know, when you're baking. And so that's For what sure. we want to remind you of. It provides that nice, uh, soft, chewy center, as well as crisp and golden on the outside. It's all made from 100% milk, so it's pure and natural. And when you're baking, remember, unsalted butter is usually best because uh, it's a very precise, baking is very precise, and you want to make sure that the butter is pure, and then you add the salt as you need. So this one we're going to make is a salted um, caramel a cookie bar. Ooh, and that's, and that's still yes. on trend. That so it has that sweet and salty, thing. right? Yeah, so I love that. what we're going to start with, Amy, I actually melted some butter. We took a stick and a half of unsalted butter, okay. and we're going to put that into a big bowl there. Okay, so just melt that right. carefully. Mm -hmm. okay. And the microwave was real easy, okay? okay? Generally, you start with cold butter, but in this case, we melted it. Okay. I'm going to have you take a third of a cup of granulated sugar and a cup of uh, pack brown sugar okay. and uh, get that stirred together until it's nice and smooth. Okay. And here I have two a cups of flour and plus two tablespoons and I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. You know the, the one thing I noticed right away is I don't see a mixer here so this is one that you yes. do by hand. Yes, yes. Both of them are like that. That's that I'm going to be showing you today. So That's this is really nice. nice. You know less I, I do love my mixer but I am hauling yeah. it out and the whole thing it's kind of a hassle sometimes so this is nice. Yeah. I like it. Now you have that good there, so we're going to add a, a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. And then we have an egg yolk, which I've already separated, and an additional egg. Okay, so one yolk and then yep. one whole mm -hmm. egg right. goes in there with in the, there. the melted butter right. and the sugar mm -hmm. and the vanilla. And you're okay. going to mix that together okay. there. Get that all blended. All right. And uh, then what we have is uh, actually we're going to be adding our dry ingredients. So once you have that mixed together well, we're going to do this in a couple. Um, uh, gradually, uh, kind, yeah, of. kind of gradually, two different additions. Okay. So we'll do half now. Okay. So you want to get that mixed together well. Now, what really makes this cookie bar delicious is we're going to be actually adding some chocolate chips to it, mm. some cashews, which, which provides that saltiness, and some caramel, which melts. And you can actually use caramel squares. We're going to get some more in there, okay. the rest of it. Caramel uh, squares, uh, you know, that are wrapped like that. But you know, now in the store, you can find caramel bits. I don't know oh, if you've nice. seen this. Oh, nice! I have not. They are already, and they're right there in the baking section, easy to find at so all the stores. So you don't have to unwrap every right. single one of those things. And cut and quarter them. They're oh, already nice. done. So we have a half a cup I of like that, that, and that will provide that nice gooeyness uh, within the cookie when you are baking it. Okay, I'm getting flour everywhere here, so I think at this point I'm going to use Yeah, you can spatula. actually use a spatula yeah. too. That's probably best once it starts getting nice and thick. Okay. Now your oven is it going to be at a lower temperature? temperature 325 degrees and we're going to be using a pie pan to make some nice wedges. This is a cookie bar it, and that's one way you could do it. If you prefer to have uh, maybe squares, you can use an 11 by 7 okay. baking pan. Okay. But you do want to butter it very carefully too. And I wanted to mention too while you're mixing that something else about butter uh, you know, again, 100% butter is best. Uh, those spreads that there are out there, or their part butters, yes, really yes. don't work as well. They're Not higher in moisture baking. and lower okay. in fat. So. Okay, good to know. All right. So in goes our cashews. Yeah, cashews. Then we have our half a cup of caramel bits. Okay. And then a cup of chocolate chips. Okay. And then you want to fold those in. And then we're just going to press it into our pan. Oven temperature? 325. 325. Yeah. For about 40 minutes. Okay. Okay, until it's nice and crispy. Kind of golden brown on the edges, till a toothpick put in the center comes out clean. Okay. You know, one of those kind. I love this because um, for like a, a cookie exchange, this would be something totally different. Yes. Totally unique. And you could cut them into smaller pieces. That's right. Um, and then because they're so on trend, that salted caramel thing, that whole thing started, you know, Starbucks does the salted caramel mocha and, all, mm -hmm. you know, anything salted caramel. I, uh, I just had a salted caramel. Um, cocktail in, oh, in Chicago recently. I'd never heard of that before, but I just love that whole salty, sweet thing. So yeah, it was so delicious. So this is nice and thick, and you just basically press it in there. Looks like a great big cookie pie. But it's easy, yeah, you know? Yeah, very easy. And some, you know, you, you know fun ingredients yep, in there as well. Unique. 
and uh, just kind of spread it out evenly. Again, 325 for about 40 minutes. Okay. And I have one done in there already for you. You can pull out and see what it looks like. So do you need to let it cool before you cut it a little yes, bit? Yes, you do. Okay. Okay. Yes, you do. So we have uh, it in the oven okay, there. Okay, grab it. And then we have some that are cut up already. You do want it to cool. Oh, it's beautiful. And I think it actually makes kind of a nice dessert look. You can actually oh, take a yeah. wedge and put that on a dessert plate. This is what it looks like Ooh. when it comes out. And it's absolutely delicious. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah. Oh, and, these and are gorgeous. And this is actually on our, our website. We have the four cookie recipes that we're featuring this month. And that's at eatwisconsincheese.com. Of course, we have lots of cheese recipes, all kinds of holiday entertaining recipes as well. But these new cookie recipes are on there, again, featuring butter. Can't wait to try that. Um, now, tell me about, I'm real excited <laughs> about this no-bake holiday yes, cookie recipe. The no-bake, 10 minutes. Uh, Love Perfect it. Perfect for the kids. You go into, it's one of those, everything but the kitchen sink. Find some potato chips that are, you know, the end of the bag. Really? Some pretzels. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. It so has that's those got the whole salty sweet <laughs> thing yes, too going on. Yes, it has a salty on. sweet. Absolutely. Oh, so it's going to be fun. really fun. We'll do it real quick. And okay. I think you'll love it. Peanut I, butter in there too. Ooh, one of my favorites. Yum. So Karen Doster is going to stick around and make these everything but the kitchen sink, no bake holiday <laughs> cookies coming up. And we've got some more fun gift ideas uh, for the foodie in your life. So stay with us. We'll be back.